Hello everyone, welcome to Toy Show. Uh, today we are playing Splatoon. And, uh, yeah, should be pretty fun. We're going to be doing the single player campaign today, which I have already done multiple times. I have just been an absolute failure at recording it, because in the two times I've done it previously, the mic was not working, so hopefully this time's the charm. Alright, so here we are, single player Splatoon. Woo! There's a uh, little story in Splatoon. Post apocalyptic world, you and the old man go and save it apparently. He gives you this cool little earmuff gun and don't sneeze at me. <laughs> and uh, you go to the uh Wee! You go to save this giant zapfish. And in any other context it would be weird. But in this game, it's completely normal. So you're a squid, for all of you who don't know about Splatoon, which I'm sure all of you do. But Splatoon's a game where you are a kid in a post-apocalyptic world, which honestly does not look like it, but don't worry, it is. Who can also turn into, as everybody knows, a squid. So, a little story that helps you get better at, uh, understanding the game and the multiplayer and all that. And the story is that this town you start off with, the very beginning town that I quickly ran out of, they are powered by a giant fish. A giant electric fish. Because it's Splatoon. And octopus guys have stolen the fish. And you are the only guy who is going to try and get them back. You and, whoops, I missed that. And Captain Cuttlefish, obviously. Alright. And apparently... Oh, no, he's still alive! <laughs> apparently, you have to go save the Zapfish and rescue the power source for your town. Otherwise, there's going to never be any more Angopolis. So you go on a mission, I guess, to find the great Zapfish. And this is the first level. These creepy guys here, they're the, uh, they're the octopus. Maybe not good, whatever, variants. It's weird name. Hey, I'm not joking. Now, fun fact, I already got this, but there is a really neat uh, secret up here. Because the story isn't really explained to you. The story's kind of found in like a secret way. You have to find these hidden scrolls. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh. And in order to find the scrolls, they're hidden in each one of the levels. So, example, here's a scroll I've already found. Which I guess I can't collect. And those tell you little tidbits of the uh, story you wouldn't have done otherwise. We'll get to them later. Alright, we got some armor. It's the best kind of armor. The one that makes you look really cool. No, those. Ah, those were pretty I never actually had the armor in, like, maybe use it. I'm guessing it's kind of like giving you an extra like, life. So if you were to get kill normally, it would just take the hit for you. You are done. Yeah, we're just gonna speed around this level real quick. And we made it here! Alright. Hmm, a key. Gotta yeah, look for the key. Oh, I'm so sorry. You look so sad! My shadow, you look so sad! That's right, I'll just shoot his friends here. They can't feel sad. Not everybody's sad, nobody's sad. Oh, look at that. That's the key I was looking for. It's the most wondrous key. But gee, nothing bad will happen when I take it here. Alright. Open it up. And that is the end of level one. Catch the zapfish, and we are on our way. Ah, sorry, they are Octo Troopers. I guess. They weren't doing much. And you pop out a tea kettle and let's go to level two! Whee! Oh, what was the name of this level? Chill time. Lair of the Octoball is one of the most hilarious names for a level. It just makes me want to laugh. I had to play it at least two times already today. <laughs> and up we go! Woo! Move around here real quick. And up 
Crafters and oh my gosh, I got some I got some cool lights on my shoes. <laughs> Swirling blue shoes. All right, anyways, in the kettle we go. And we. Oh, I always like using this level. It's actually really good. It does not feel like it belongs in this game, but then it completely does the same. I just want to sing along once you get to it. Unless this tune music's fairly well, I don't know this part. Oh, wait, uh, now nah, it is, yeah, sorry, I'm just very confused. Whee! Huh? Oh. Move onwards! Go! Woo! Woo! What? Ah, getting shot at. Alright, we got him all. Alright, let's see if I can do this way. Because apparently you can jump all the way to that one. No, you can't. Alright, that was even close. So, two, two, out. Ooh, okay, there's nothing. I do think they're really adorable with those helicopter hats, though. And come on, can we make it? Ah, man, I get that. Oh, let's see that again real quick. Just to show you guys, there's a cool little secret up there. It's the, uh, page from this level. And checkpoint. Get the wall we go. Woo. I guess the good news in all this, I got a lot of, uh, I guess, points? Orbs? Kind of like orbs for you. I'm not quite sure what we call those things. Maybe call them mini dragon balls. Kind of what they look like. Look at 
we got? Little orange goo balls. Hello. You are mine. And away we go! I'm Super Zipline! Alright, this guy actually is actually pretty dangerous. But well, I usually miss his first shot, so that's pretty nice. And that's it! That's it! That's the level! Just pile up here, you get the game. Um... Jackfish, and you're on your way! Woo! Sprint form! My adorable looking, like, winter jacket armor. So cute. Alright, and those are the first three levels in a nutshell. Real quick, real easy. Yeah, I think we actually have enough time for the fourth level. That should be pretty fun. This is pretty scary. Squish, squash, smash. The mighty Octo Stomp. Ugh, he is certainly not in a good mood. Let's go say hi. Hmm. Now, there was like a scroll that we already got, but I don't remember getting it. Oh, I know what it gets. Yeah. I'll show you guys the scrolls at the end of this. It's pretty fun. Alright. This guy's actually pretty tough for a boss. I'm very surprised. Oh my gosh! No, we have a set of them! Ah! Creepy octopus! Ah, guys, he's, he's so creepy! Oh, that, it's like terrifying. Oh, I am greedy. That's so cool. I think I'm always greedy. He's got like, human legs and then an octopus arm and a giant metal face. How is that like. That is just creepy. It's unnatural! Up the wall, up the wall you go! It was pretty easy. The first time I faced him, I actually took the uh, he actually took me out of this. He gets really tough on this third part right here. Like all Nintendo bosses, there's like the rule three. So once you get him three times, they're pretty much done. Oh gosh! Like a dragon, but no, it's just a giant metal cube. That's ah, he's chasing me! Ah, ah! Woo, that was too close for comfort. Ah, he just he. come on, get to the top, get to the top. No, we had him. Oh man, now I gotta get away. That's the hardest part is getting away on this thing. Oh jeez, I didn't get this side in, so now it's gonna be too quick. Oh man. Wow, this is just, he's just so quick about it. Uh, we can do it, we can do it. Third time to jump. Can't, oh my god, he missed completely. That's good, it's perfect. Up, 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 switch to go! Woo! Hello, Max. And this is the, uh, I know you haven't seen him before, but this was the, uh, first boss of Splatoon. You, you kind of don't get to see him that well from this angle, sadly, but, like, he is really creepy. Maybe it's a shoot, I'm gonna guess it's a be. It's creepy. Aw, oh, can I get two more? Aw. Oh. Come with me, come with Zach. You got the broken one. Oh, you can like see me back down here. This is too creepy. And that's level one for you. Well, level four, but the boss is level one. I can speak English, don't worry. Alright, let's move on. Oh my gosh, go! Oh. Forgot. Alright. So our objective is save five more zapfish, and that we will do next time on third channel.